As well as its millions of specimens of animals and plants, the museum also has huge and fascinating archives, scientific journals from all over the world, letters from explorers, even posters and handbills, if they have anything to do with natural history. In the 19th century, when Professor Owen was in charge of this museum, new and extraordinary things were turning up from all over the world, and Professor Owen was very keen that his museum should have the best of them. He secured the Archaeopteryx from Germany, the Moas from New Zealand, but sometimes really strange things turned up on his very doorstep. And there were certainly lots of very odd creatures being exhibited around London in Victorian times. This print shows an extraordinary monster that was being displayed in Piccadilly. An American showman called Albert Koch was charging a shilling a head to have a look at it. Professor Owen decided to investigate. He felt sure that something was wrong with it, but nonetheless he was intrigued. And he bought it. When he'd got it back to his museum, he was able to examine it in detail. It was certainly gigantic and bigger than anything else he had in his museum at the time. Koch, the showman, had dug up the bones from a farmer's field in Missouri and maintained that in life the animal had stood nine meters long and almost five meters tall. There were claims that this was a fearsome predator that used its extraordinary tusks for stabbing its victims, presumably by swinging its head sideways. Well, I'm sure Professor Owen would have had something to say about that. He must have realized that these blunt, rounded ridges on these huge molar teeth would be very effective at grinding up twigs and fir cones and rough forest vegetation, but they lack the sharp blade that you need to slice through flesh. This is not the jaw of a carnivore. It soon became clear that Koch had increased the size of his monster skeleton by adding extra vertebrae, ribs, and even blocks of wood. The Missouri Leviathan was a fraud. So Owen removed all the extra bits. And then he put the real bones back together in their true form. Finally, he detached those astonishing tusks and put them back in the correct way. It seems obvious now, but in life they had pointed in much the same direction as those of a modern elephant. And so, here today stands not Cox the Leviathan, but Owen's Mastodon, a vegetarian relative of the elephant that lived 12,000 years ago in North and Central America. It may have decreased a bit in size, but it's still an astonishing animal. <laughs>